हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड चेतन बोला एंड यूर वॉचिंग भोला मोटो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एयर कंडीशन सिस्टम ऑफ अ कार देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एयर कंडीशन सिस्टम आई हैव ट्राई टू कीप मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स इन दिस वीडियो ओनली सो दैट यू कैन गेट टू नो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बाय सिंगल वीडियो सो प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न लॉट ऑफ न्यू स्टफ नॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग स्टफ सो इफ यू डेंट सब्सक्राइब जन लेट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट राइट नाउ यही शेयर दिस वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो so first of all i would like to introduce you to the uh, major components of the refrigeration refrigeration system but uh, please uh, don't look at this diagram right now because if you are looking th at this diagram you may get confused it is looking quite uh, uh, it is looking quite uh, confusing but it is really not so the first component is the compressor compressor increases the pressure of the air or or the refrigerant the most commonly the refrigerant is uh, r134 and when it increases the pressure the temperature also increases and the temperature increases after that uh, there is a heat exchanger which is used so that the heat can be rejected or the temperature can be reduced of that refrigerant here there is a fan uh, this is the uh, this is the heat exchanger that you can see just behind the bumper of your car so you can see uh, clearly in this video uh, right here which is running right here what happens is when uh, when this refrigerant passes through this uh, uh, this heat exchanger the fan is blowing the air which is rejecting the heat from this and uh, when uh, the it is just uh, decreasing temperature to some extent due to this decrease in temperature these gases get are getting uh, condensed so this is also called the condenser after that these gases comes in expansion valve where the pressure decreases suddenly and due to this sudden decrease in pressure these gases starts rushing and uh, due to this uh, sudden decrease in pressure the temperature also decreases and when the temperature decreases these gases become cool and when these gases are passed through this heat exchanger this heat exchanger looks like this this uh, is placed inside your cabin uh, uh, inside your dashboard so what happens is when the heat uh, uh, when this uh, hot refrigerant enters from one of the port of this uh, heat exchanger it just gets spread over in the whole of these pipelines here and uh, the air is blown the hot air is blown of the cabin from one side and on the other side you get the cold air so uh, this cold air is just sent into the cabin and you get, you get the air cooled and uh, from uh, if the if uh, this air is getting cooled so it is rejecting its heat somewhere and uh, in this case it is rejecting its heats to the refrigerant so the heated refrigerant will be coming out from this tube and getting again back to here you can clearly see this is again connecting back to the accumulator this, this is the accumulator this accumulator just accumulates any vapor inside it so so that uh, it 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 is not going to rush the compressor and after that the gases again enter inside the compressor where the temperature uh, where the pressure is again increased so this is how this whole cycle uh, how this whole cycle uh, works so uh, after this liquid phase these gases uh, these these liquid again become the gases after the expansion valve so this is what i forgot to tell you uh, in this video the major component is the compressor the uh, the, the compressor is having a some uh, electromagnetic clutch over it compressor is always uh, in drive with the crankshaft so uh, whenever the crankshaft is rotated in the compressor pulley is also rotating but not the compressor the compressor pulley is rotating but the compressor shaft is only will be rotated whenever there is some electromagnetic clutch linkage so what happens is i will like to explain you this electromagnetic linkage another in another video but uh, just getting you a brief inside it so whenever the electromagnetic clutch works this uh, just uh, uh, this this just also starts rotating the shaft with this pulley and uh, when this pulley starts rotating uh, the shaft starts rotating and then the compressor starts rotating and uh, the work you can get so i would like to tell you about the compressor detail about the compressor in another video so you will be watching that video so uh, i hope you got to learn uh, some new things in this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe it right now and thanks for guys for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys